Hello everyone, I am making some of my banana protein chocolate chip muffins and they are so delicious. What you'll need here is three bananas and I usually try to use frozen or super ripe but I had two generally ripe and one frozen. You're just gonna mash them up here really good. As good as you can. I had four crazy toddlers running around during this so you know they are what they are. I got them pretty mashed up here as you can see. <laughs> So until you're content with your mashing skills, you can keep mashing and mashing and mashing and mashing. <laughs> Next, you're going to need one and a half cups of oats. I am using quick oats here. You'll also need one cup of flour. And I'm using one scoop of this Quest peanut butter pa protein powder. You can use any protein powder that you like. You don't taste the peanut butter flavor per se in these. They're just kind of to fill you up a bit more. So you'll need one teaspoon of baking powder as well. And three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. You'll have half a cup of the creamy cashew. I use the unsweetened vanilla flavor. You could use the original if you prefer. I did end up adding a splash more later, so you could add that now. And then I add two tablespoons of egg whites. Three teeth. Three tablespoons of white sugar. You could add sweetener and you'll make your points lower for this. Um, I'm making it for the kids as well, more so than me right now. And then I'm mixing that all up. I don't know why, I grabbed a whisk and it got all stuck in the whisk as you can see. So I end up taking it all out of the whisk and finish stirring it with a spoon. But whatever works, I think maybe my bananas just weren't mashed well enough. So like I said, you can mash those more if you are able to. I was dealing with lots going on this morning, so I was just doing that. I only had about one and a half tablespoons of chocolate chips. Usually I add four tablespoons of chocolate chips. Um, so I ended up, I had these Smarties or M&Ms, so I just added a few of those. It is Easter this weekend, so maybe they'll be colorful muffins for the kids. These muffins should be four smart points for one muffin. I will double check with the M&M version, but if you follow the recipe that I am putting in the description, it will be four smart points for a muffin. They are good for the whole family and they're super delicious. I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to give me a like if you did and comment down below. Let me know if you're going to try them. They are so delicious and totally worth making. They're quite quick and easy. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend making them when you have four toddlers running around, but if you want to make them with four toddlers running around, I did, and it happened. So I'm just spooning them out here. Lastly, we're going to bake for 15 minutes on 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'll show you the finished muffin. I hope you try these the kids definitely are enjoying them and yeah i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye guys huh. what do you say thanks thank you're you you're welcome you say yummy 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 <laughs> brielle that's not how we eat it you lift it up pick it up <laughs> that's funny what color is in your muffin, Edison? Blue. Yeah, blue. Okay, say bye, everybody. Bye, bye, everybody. Say, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up.